Well, I mean, my observation then was that uh, the South African government had a completely two-pronged strategy, that it targeted one lot of propaganda for overseas and one for home consumption. And my film, Anatomy of Apartheid, which was based on what I believed then, that we were providing um, the blacks the means of independence and self-determination, um, was a very pro-black film. I mean, all I realized later was that the evidence was, 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 was entirely different. Now, that film was pumped overseas. It was shown to, to um, universities in America, in Europe, and so forth, showing this very, very radical attitude, you know, to give blacks their own independence, to release them from, 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 from white um, commercial and political domination. This was the answer, but it was never shown once in South Africa. And that that was one of the many lessons I learned and uh, the, the warnings I got. And they do have complete, two completely different functions to perform as external propagandists and internal propagandists. I don't know how things have changed since I last was there, but um, to me the main thrust of internal propaganda was to create a climate of fear. To, uh, and we saw the same in Zimbabwe where the internal propaganda exacted, acted in exactly the same way. And of course, when white Zimbabweans found, when finally Zimbabwe gained its freedom, and there weren't, um, you know, battalions of the Red Army walking down Jamison Avenue, and white people understood how they'd been misdirected by this fear propaganda, there was an overwhelming reaction. And so many of the whites that have stayed behind are very, very committed because they feel that they were lied to, that their sons, their daughters, their brothers, their sisters fought a meaningless war uh, on, the f on false evidence. Now, that's, that's the internal propaganda, the climate of fear to make you believe that a non-racial society is impractical, that it won't work, that it can only work in this way. And if you don't fight for it, you know, the, the, the Red Army will cut your throat. Externally, um, the external propaganda needs to persuade us that South Africa is a typical Christian, nice, familiar Western country. And two entirely different functions.